everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I am a little late, but uh, today I'm going to share with you a project using the Stitched Ornament and Display die set. This is the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for October. Now this piece here, along with these, creates a, well, let me show you. Here. This creates like a, um, like a window box almost to where your ornament can dangle. Really pretty. Um, all you basically do is cut four out, cut a little um, dome in there if you want to, to create the the rounded look. And then it just show, shows you on the back how to create it. Um, Spellbinders has a great video about this and um, um, but I'm not going to do something different today. <laughs> of course I have to I'm just going to use, I'm not even going to use this, the beautiful stitch detail. I am going to just use the frame ornament along with this beautiful detail piece to create a card. And then, of course, don't you just love Spellbinder's um, florals? I just think they're gorgeous. There's two pine needles I'll use. This is the top of the ornament. I'm going to use this. And then we have some holly berries and some holly leaves. And this is appreciated. This creates like a string um, that you can connect to your ornament. And I'm going to use that as well. So we have a little bit of die cutting to do. All the cardstock that I'm using today is Spellbinder's Color Essential cardstock with the exception of some mirror. We have the Spellbinder's new Crimson cardstock. I kind of like the, the regal look of this. It's not a bright red. It's more of a, a toned down red. And I'm going to create a couple of the poinsettias with that. So I'll die cut out four of those. With the pine needles, I'm going to die cut out a couple with white cardstock. And then I'm also going to die cut out a couple with our fern. And then we have the ornament. For the ornament, I'm going orange. This is persimmon. And bear with me. <laughs> I'm not going to create an actual or or orange ornament. Um, but there's going to be a little bit of orange in it. So I'll die cut this out. And then we have this piece here. I'm going to die cut this out with our... Now let's, instead of using our crimson, which is a darker red, let's go in with a lighter just, red. Just a slight difference, but it's a little bit lighter. And I'll die cut out two of the decorative pieces for the ornament with my pomegranate. Now we have a lighter green. This is rainforest. I'm going to use the rainforest with our holly leaves. And then we have some silver mirror cardstock. We're going to take the ornament top along with our ornament string. And we also have our holly twig. Let's die cut this out with our rainforest. Or our, yes, rainforest. And then we have a holly berries. We'll cut out with our crimson cardstock. Okay. We have a little bit of die cutting to do. Oh, I have some white cardstock. While we're die cutting, I need a sentiment. So for my sentiment today, I'm bringing in the Spellbinders Christmas Mix and Match Sentiments. There's a lot of customizable sentiments in here. Um, you have holiday, Christmas, winter, joyous, merry greetings, and wishes. So I'm going to die cut out Merry Christmas for my card today with white cardstock. Okay, everything is die cut out. And now I do want to um, take my ornament die and then I'm going to use some pop-up foam. And I am going to die cut out some foam to put behind my ornament just for a little bit of dimension. Since it is a large um, piece, I think foam would work out perfect. So I want to run this through my die cut machine. And then we're going to do a little bit of ink blending. Okay, here is my foam. I am going to punch out the holes in here. Okay, and we're going to put everything off to the side and then everything but our ornament. And then I have two different colors of inks here. I have candied apple and then I also have aged mahogany. What we're going to do is ink blend both of these along the outside rim of this to create um, 
a halo almost, just to give it dimension and to make it look a little bit uh, more rounded. I think this is a great way to do that. Since we're gonna cover the ornament top, I'm not gonna worry about that, but I do wanna go around it. So first we're gonna go around with candied apple, and I'm just using my blending brushes for this. And then, I'm going to use Aged Mahogany. I had to bring in another blending brush because I don't have one this color. You can see this is like a, a red-brown color. Well, like mahogany. And I'm going to ink this up really well since it's the first time I'm using this blending brush. And then we're going to go around the edges a second time with the Aged Mahogany. And really, that's not as red as I want it to be. So let's switch this and go. We're going to go with fired brick instead of aged mahogany. So I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit. Okay, so we have our fired brick. And then I'm going to go in with um, brown. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take Ground Espresso. It's a dark brown ink, and I'm gonna go around the edges. Just to darken it up a little bit. And I think that looks good. You see how it gives it a round look? I love the way this is. So, after we're done with this, now we have our red that I'm going to bring in and we're going to glue our detail. Do we want white? Maybe we want white. No. We're going to glue our detail piece to our ornament. Okay, we're going to flip around our ornament and add our detail piece on the top. Just making sure the side pieces overlap. Wonderful. Now, while we have our glue out, I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind the top of our ornament. And we'll add this. This is going to overlap on that detail piece. I think this is so pretty. And then our ornament is nice and good to go. We are going to add our foam. But before we add our foam, I want to add our... I'm going to tilt it a little bit, add a little glue here, bring it back, like I guess it's like a pendulum, and then tack that string here on the back, like so. And then we have some string on our ornament. I'm going to add some glue behind here. And then we're going to tack this down to our foam. And I'm going to use um, acrylic block. To set that and then in the meantime we can work on our flowers now I already did two of my flowers you can see the white centers the white centers are um, foam squares <laughs> I just put one foam square in one of my flowers and then I remove the release paper and then I tilt um, shift it like so to add a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to add one in the back too so we can add I don't know if I'll use all three but they sure are pretty poinsettias <laughs> to create our holly leaves it's very easy our berry die will cut out six berries and I cut out two of the stems so all we have to do is add little dots of glue to those stems and then we can use our jewel picker rubber and we can add our berries. The nice thing is, is if you're going to add gems to your berries instead of your die cut, you could do that too. Break out your red gems and you can add those. But I wanted something with the same color. Since we have a little bit of shading, I'm going to add a little bit of color using my finger daubers to my holly leaves.
I'm going to use pine needles. And just add a little bit of shading here. Okay, I have two pieces of gray cardstock. My darker gray is a lunar gray, and then I have the lighter gray, which is silver fox. And my darker gray is a card front panel, so it's four and a quarter inches by five and a half. And this is gonna go directly on an A2 size card base. So let's just use our tape runner and adhere this directly to the front. If you wanted to emboss this, you could, but I think with all that's gonna go on this card, I didn't wanna add any any extra texture or color because there's, there's a lot of elements on here. Next, I have a smaller sized panel. Um, we're kinda gonna create, let's trim this down a little bit. This measures um, three and a half inches wide, and I'm gonna trim it to four inches long. Let's adhere this, to have ink on my nail, <laughs> to our card front, kind of creating a photo frame look. So we're going to evenly space it on the, the left, right, and top. And then I'm going to tack this down. I'm actually going to hold it down with my block. Now I'm going to take my Christmas and I'm going to add some, um, some glue behind here. The Christmas is going to go on the very bottom of our, I'm going to call it a photo frame. Okay, we have our Christmas. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue down my Mary. And I think we're going to overlap here on the bottom. So our sentiment is good. I'm going to go ahead and trim off my ornament right off the top there. So you can save this for another one if you want. And then we have our flowers. We're going to first add our leaves. And we're going to use our tape runner for this. Now we have our poinsettias. It's actually the foam tape that's showing. It doesn't look so bad, but I do want to cover that up. So let's bring in some silver gems. This is the Spellbinders Color Central Gems. This is the silver mix. And we can add some berries or some flower centers with the silver mix I here. I put three of them next to the large and then four, no, three of the itty bitties. And I think that's just what we need. That finishes off my card today. We're using the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for October 2022. This is called the stitched ornament and display. We didn't even we didn't use any of the stitching, and we didn't. If you wanted to put the stitching in there, you very well could. Um, but we didn't use the stitching or the display. But that's a nice way to use the ornament. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.